Bruce here from 4 Low Life, and I'm glad you came back for more. So, continuing on on the troubleshooting of this electrical circuit, what I said in the first video is find out whether you have an open circuit or a short circuit. How do you do that? Well, there's a couple of pretty easy things you can do. Open circuits will not read any resistance. If you put your little digital meter on ohms, you should get a reading of OL. OL, you can read it as overload, open line. Overload is a high resistance, no circuit can flow. Open line is just like an open switch. There is no connection. So if you have an open circuit and you measure any section in here, you will get a reading of OL. If I take this light bulb out and I measure from here to here and that light bulb is burned out, I will get a reading of OL. It's really important to understand that OL and zero ohms are completely opposite. A lot of people will say, I took a reading and it was open, it said zero. That's backwards. A reading of zero means you have a full circuit. You have no resistance stopping the electricity from flowing. Zero ohms is a perfect circuit. OL is an open circuit, open line. So keep that in mind. Don't confuse yourself when you're trying to figure out the problem. So if I take a, a measurement in any part of this circuit in ohms, I can find out if I have a connection, if I have a bad connection, or if I have no connection at all. So let's say I want to know if my switch is broken. And I take the switch out and I measure it. And I get a reading in the open position of OL, overload, open line. I turn the switch on and I get a reading of zero ohms. Now I know my switch is good. The other way I can do that is I can measure voltage. So I take my voltmeter and I connect it to the ground of the battery and any point along this circuit when the circuit is activated up until the load I should measure the same as the battery. So if I measure 12 volts here I should measure 12 volts here, I should measure 12 volts here, I should measure it all the way along until I get to the load. So if I am coming along here and I get 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, 7 volts with the switch turned on, there's something wrong in the switch. That's a very easy way to measure on a live circuit. Battery power is not going to hurt you. You can measure a live circuit. I know right now there is a voltage drop through my switch in the on position. Very easy way to find a problem. And I can keep going all the way along here and I should get 12 volts all the way up to here. So let's say with this switch on, I got 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, 12 volts, and then I got seven. Automatically, I already know everything up to the output side of my switch is good, and between the output side of my switch and the input side of my load, there's a problem. If I'm getting 12 volts here and seven volts here, something is stealing voltage. In this example, I said if we have a partial short to ground here, if it's a bad connection, a high resistance connection, so maybe I have a couple hundred ohms, it's going to be a little bit of voltage bleeding out there. I'm not going to get full voltage to my load. This light, if it's a light, is not going to light up fully. So there you go. A little bit more information on a partial short circuit, how to measure it using volts. Stay tuned for more. There's tons coming.